Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 26th of March, the local media headlines today. Now it's often the little things that turn out to have big consequences and so we can only wonder what will happen to Public Health Cornwall when it is integrated into a new government agency which comes into being next week. The Health Security Agency is to be led by Dr Jenny Harries, who just over a year ago was all over the TV screens telling us that Covid wasn't much to worry about provided we washed our hands and sang happy birthday. With Covid restrictions due to be eased slightly on Monday, Cornwall has lost its place as the safest in the South West and is now just behind Devon. The Navy is trying to find out why one of its few remaining jets crashed near Lizard Point yesterday. The two crew parachuted to safety. The Carbis Bay Hotel planning row continues with the local MP saying the natural environment should be restored once the G7 summit is over. And the question over whether or not Launceston councillor Adam Painter should or could be in the Liberal Democrats is turning into a right royal soap opera with the potential to drag on for another two or three weeks. The BBC was among those to report the antics of a rogue builder who conned his victims out of more than £80,000 of work which he failed to complete. James Lee Knight was sent to prison for two years and three months. The work he'd done for eight homeowners in Cornwall was of such poor quality that it had to be done again by other firms. The Falmouth Packet is worried about muddy brown water pouring onto Swanpool Beach, suggesting it might be associated with a nearby building site. The Camelford and Delibold Post tells us about two youngsters who are fundraising for the RNLI. And finally, Cornwall Live says there's still room for more tourists to come here this summer. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.